welcome to night number two of my second annual 13 Nights of Fright. Tonight we're going to be talking about 1996's From Dusk Till Dawn. In case you are new, all the movies included within my 13 Nights of Fright is a first time watch. So yes, I have never seen this movie up to a few days ago. So this movie is written by Quentin Tarantino. It is directed by Robert Rodriguez. It stars George Clooney and Quentin Tarantino as two fugitive bro uh, brothers on the run to Mexico. Selma Hayek also has a small but very memorable part in this movie. I'm pretty sure most 30, 40, maybe even 50 year old man now really appreciated a particular scene in this movie back in their like preteens, teenage, maybe even early 20s. Now Salma Hayek actually had to be put under a trance to be able to do that very iconic a sultry little dance due to her extreme phobia of snakes. Now she did almost lose a part over to Madonna due to this phobia. Quentin Tarantino was pretty much being an asshole to her and just like threatening her that if she couldn't get over this and she couldn't do the dance that you know what? I know Madonna's gonna be able to do it. I've talked to her and she's in agreement to do it. Now when Santanico, who is uh, Salma, was doing that little dance, she ended up basically in front of Richard, who is played by Quentin Tarantino. George Clooney's all like, hey, like, why isn't she looking at us? And Quentin's all like, because I'm the writer. And then just to put the little cherry on top of it all, towards the end of that dance, Salma does put um, her foot in his mouth. Some of you are probably like, how is that even a cherry on top? If you're not familiar, Quentin Tarantino has like a huge foot fetish. Look at all his movies. Every time you will see a female's foot somewhere in the bottom of the sole, dirty ass feet. All his movies at some point or another you will see feet. The only movie of his that does not feature feet that I'm aware of that I can recall is gonna be Reservoir Dogs. Now, this movie is about these two brothers, Seth, who is played by um, George Clooney. He is a bank robber um, and his psychopathic rapist brother Quentin Tarantino. After Richard ends up breaking Seth out of prison, they decide to do a little quick little bank robbery job. Things kind of get really bloody there. But they do end up stopping at this little raggedy looking motel. This is when the Fuller family enter. And it does uh, include um, Harvey Keitel, who is the dad. Juliette Lewis is the daughter and she plays Kate. And then we also have a brother who I really don't think I've ever seen in anything ever again. And he's really not much of importance. He's not really younger than when I'm going to be honest with you. They are taken hostage along with their RV and then off they go crossing the little border off into trying to find this very loud ass bar that's open from, wait for it, from dusk till dawn. I really had to double check and make sure this was considered a horror movie just because nothing horrific. Well I mean I guess there will be bloody mess but I could do gore and I mean that's more gory than horror for me but I get it that's like technically horror stuff uh, but you only see the aftermath and it's almost like flashes basically there and but nothing that's like suspicious or anything like creepy or you know, like dramatic creepy as music was happening none of that. So I'm like is this even really a horror movie? Because it was really giving me more like crime drama. You have the first half, which is like the brilliant better part of it. I feel like that's more like Quentin's portion of it. And again, that's more the crime drama. And then honestly, somewhere around the bar scene, like don't even freaking blink. It's almost like they just flip the switch and then Robert Rodriguez really takes over because this is kind of when we showcase who Robert Rodriguez really is with his special effects situation and all that other good stuff it doesn't really like slide in transition from this crime drama into the whole vampire situation that we end up getting and it's like next thing you know it's like holy shit what the hell happened here we, we, we were watching a different type of movie and then now we're like here with these like gory as almost demon like vampires who honestly like the rules to these vampires are kind of off like i i don't really understand them but it's okay it's okay it's one of those movies that you really don't really fully need to understand it's honestly just a really good solid b movie they're technically not the strongest kind of vampires you know they try to be all like badass and they do like murder a lot of people at the bar 
because you know it's feeding time or whatever they like lock everybody in and only like a small handful of people survive including the dad who is like a a pastor who has lost his faith with this like goody two shoe shoe like church girl kate and a little brother now when it does come to the special effects some of them are still good some of them i feel like still you know hold up till this till this day unfortunately a lot a lot of them just don't i'm pretty sure they were awesome back in 96 but unfortunately i am watching this in 2021 and the majority of them i don't feel worked and also one of the main things that i really love about the movie is that the people like the sort of the humans right in the movie they know that they're dealing with vampires they ain't no bullshitting know what the hell is this there are vampires out there we know that they're vampires you know what let me just put that clip right now so you can hear it there's a fucking vampires out there trying to get in here and suck our fucking blood and that's it plain and simple and i don't want to hear anything about i don't believe in vampires because i don't fucking believe in vampires but i believe in my own two eyes and what i saw is fucking vampires now do we all agree that what we are dealing with is vampires yes now per a tarantino rodriguez flick it's gonna be a bloody gory violent very r-rated type of movie limbs flying everywhere heads being decapitated we have like some rocking um i was about to say zombies but some rocking like vampires making a guitar out of somebody's leg or arm or whatever they're just over there like rocking it out Quentin Tarantino is actually one of my favorite um directors he's just such a freaking brilliant writer which so I'm there with the writing situation. He did write it. So the the script in this um, movie, the writing is just like absolutely great, you guys. It's like great. The acting also is really, really good. You know, George Clooney played Seth very, very well. It's one of his better performances. And Seth is such a like cool, like badass, very well written character. And Quentin Tarantino also did surprisingly very well as well. You know, Tarantino is a brilliant writer. He is a great director. But unfortunately, when it comes to the acting, He's not the best. He's not the best. Before I do give you my overall thoughts and my score on this movie, don't forget to, of course, give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And, of course, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. You don't want to miss these 13 Nights of Fright. It is a really good movie. I truly, truly did enjoy it. It's something that if I saw on TV, I would stay there and watch it. Again, it's not a scary movie. Well, I don't think I had said that, but it's not scary. Like I said, the first part of the movie is like a crime drama. There's nothing scary happening. We have like that one bloody scene there when they get to the hotel, but it's really just flashes of like the bloody mess, but you don't actually see anything. And then it's like a light switch happens, and then we go to all like the bloody massacre mess in this bar it is definitely a movie that i would recommend for you to check out i don't even feel like it's technically just like a halloween movie i mean like i said it's like two different movies in one but i guess because of the vampires so with that said i'm going to give from dusk to dawn a, a large popcorn all right guys that is it for me tonight i'll see you guys tomorrow bye